No, we that's what you do. Press phone. From morning to night, you're just pressing phone. But you don't know that there's a problem waiting for all of us in front. And this particular problem is going to affect everybody. It's going to affect you. It's going to affect me. It's going to affect the person not watching, the person watching. So if I were you, I would pay attention. And thank God that this particular week is the World Antimicrobial Awareness Week. And this particular video, we are going to be talking about antibiotic resistance and bacteria. But before we talk about it, let's discuss what bacteria is first. Bacteria, small, 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 small one-celled organisms that are everywhere. They are in the sea, they are in the land, they are in the air, they are in wood. They are, as a matter of fact, there is more bacteria in you than there are human cells. So bacteria outnumber you, they outnumber everybody. And now, not all of them cause diseases, only very few of them. And that is why antibiotics was invented. But before we discuss how antibiotics was invented and what antibiotics do, I need to enter my doctor mood because that's what all of you pay attention to. Abi, <laughs> now that we're here, let me tell you a story. In 1928, a certain man that was working as a scientist known as Alexander Fleming went on holiday, went to Guanjaye. But before he left, he left bacteria growing in a particular dish and inside one cupboard. When he came back, he found out that uh -uh, instead of the bacteria to be growing, there was mold growing in that particular plate. And the mold was preventing the bacteria from growing around it. Uh -uh. Why is bacteria growing everywhere but it's not growing around here? He put 1 plus 1 equals to a bar and found out that it was a particular chemical that the fungi or the mold was secreting that was preventing the bacteria from growing. Ah, uh, This is new because before then, human beings were, you know, I don't know, we were doing 1 plus 1 equals to moi moi and about to treat bacterial infections. We did not know what we were doing. Bacteria were just showing people shaggy. In 1945, the whole world said, ah, let us reward this Alexander Fleming with a prize. As they were giving him the prize, Alexander Fleming said, ah, thank God though you people are celebrating what I've done. But you should know that this bacteria we are killing with this antibiotic might become resistant to it. Hey, hey, Fleming, what are you doing? But he was right. And that's why we are here. Antibiotic resistance. First of all, antibiotic works in different ways. One of the ways that they work is that these particular bacteria, some of them have certain walls around them, cell walls, with their you know internal organelles. Let me use that word. But the antibiotic will say, ah, this particular cell wall, we are going to attack it, attack the cell wall, cell wall will burst, organelles will fall out. Or they get into the bacterial cell and then they say, you know what, we are going to affect your ability to synthesize certain things. And then when they do, this bacteria is no longer able to survive. But over time, this bacteria, they've understood that, ah, if, I con if, this, con if this continues to happen, I get exposed to this antibiotic, I may die. So some of them decided to, you know, let us learn the ways of Tai Chi to fight against this antibiotic back and they became resistant. Some of them, you know, the antibiotic, you've taken it but it's not working again simply because these bacteria have become resistant to it. I hope you know that currently there is a gonorrhea, yes, all of you, there is a gonorrhea that has been identified as super gonorrhea. What does it mean? It means that this particular gonorrhea, the normal antibiotics that we know can no longer treat it. Now that I have successfully let you understand what the problem is, let's now discuss how you and I have been contributing to this problem. Nkechi, Pius, Emeka and Philomena, you are part of the people that are causing the problems and I'm going to tell you how. Don't think I've forgotten about you, Kunde. Because we need to understand how some of you are sabotaging us. Number one, indiscriminate use of antibiotics. Some of you, any small thing you've taken antibiotics. Ah, I have Kofu, I have Qatar, antibiotics. Hey, oh, this is small headache in my head, antibiotics. Doctor said I have typhoid and malaria, antibiotics. Some of you have graduated a step further. You have become the antibiotic distributor of your compound. Any small problem around any other person, you've given them antibiotics. Number two, some of you misuse antibiotics. The doctor will tell you, use antibiotics for five days. You, as soon as it looks like is you want to start to well, you have done the antibiotics. You only remember it when the sickness comes up again. You will not wait for a prescription, you will just pick it up and continue using it. Number three, hygiene. See, it's not every time you take antibiotics. Sometimes you just need to keep your environment clean and reduce your exposure to some of these infections. For example, washing your hands, cleaning your environment, and reduce your chances of falling sick so that you do not need to take antibiotics. And last but not the least, this particular one is to the farmers. Some of you use antibiotics 
overly in your animals to make them grow bigger yes i know that if you waste bigger on the skin it's more profit for you but doing that also exposes us to antibiotics exposes the germs to antibiotics and may increase resistance so please my dear we do not have time if we do not have enough antibiotics simple things like surgeries are going to be hard because as soon as you do them we cannot survive some of them have uti and no available antibiotic can be able to treat that particular uti there are people who are coming down with multi-resistant strain of staphylococcus because they're just taking antibiotics up and down. So please, my dear, help us to help us. This why it's never going to help you to help us because it doesn't just affect the doctors, it affects everybody. If it affects you, it affects us. So please, Nkechi, Philomena, Pius, Kunle, we're adding you to the mix. Everybody has to come together. It's not one person's problem, it's everybody's problem.